are on a mission to democratize access to commercial real estate. And what that means is a bunch of buzzwords, but what that really means is we are hoping to provide access to street level locations in your neighborhoods and your cities that are vacant. And we believe that the commercial real estate world looks at commercial real estate, especially street level spaces as binary. They're either zero, which is vacant, making nothing, providing no economic utility or social utility, or one, they're fully leased and that rent roll is being collected. We believe there's an opportunity to actually build a layer of commercial real estate management inside of that to unlock a short term activation layer that lets people create, test businesses, gather, meet, have art shows, all these different things that people want to do. There isn't really an affordable, accessible and seamless way to do that in your community, on your main street, in your town, yet we have all these vacant storefronts everywhere. So we're on a mission to basically partner with landlords and property owners to open up these locations for short-term utilization. So that's in a nutshell, what we do. It's all about empowering creators. It's about empowering local citizens to take back their vacant storefronts and use them for good, create opportunities, bring their imagination to life, start a new business, build some memories, bring people together. There's all these things that we need real estate to catalyze. We need real estate to make these things happen. Yes, there are virtual versions of these now. Yes, almost all of those things are possible to do online, but we're humans. We desire connection. We need emotional, psychological, and physical uh, well-being. And that involves being around other human beings from a genetic standpoint. And so what we're really focused on trying to solve is how can we make our cities more vibrant? How can we reduce the barriers to entry, mostly for people who have traditionally been barred from using some of these spaces? So it's a pretty exciting thing to try and take on. It, it's a big idea. It's, it's hard. But what we believe is that this can really make an impact on the livability of cities and, and neighborhoods. I want to cement something you said too. So traditionally, like, uh, let's call it an office building that has a kitchen inside of it, right? And that tenant left because they couldn't survive because of COVID. So now they're out. And so what the what a normal landlord or even a property manager is going to do is look to just fill that lease. And so they're, they're looking for the same, they're looking for a copy and paste. So what they end up doing is bringing in a tenant with probably two years of free rent just to fill the space for a five-year time, which is good and bad. If you have a bad idea in the market, you want to know quickly. And so a long-term lease isn't going to show you that. Definitely. And there's this thing I keep thinking of. It's like every single office that is, let's say, 5% occupied right now, every single huge tower they've built all around the world, there's a kitchen in that place, maybe two, maybe three. Literally, it's the best time for you to be a ghost kitchen. Absolutely. Like, just be a ghost kitchen, operate at all these places where there isn't anybody, just have an Instagram page. And cool. to your point, it's like you can now test your idea. We spoke to a ghost kitchen and as I was speaking to them, I'm like, this would be great if they did it in every single office space right now, because it's also a free litmus test. It's like if the building's 5% occupied, that means there's some people that still want food inside this building. So at a minimum, you might have like 10 customers, let's say. But if you have an online storefront and you're you know, a ghost kitchen, it's a perfect litmus test to see if your product's going to resonate in the market. I think you're right. I mean, I think the, the challenge of it, right, is getting these uh, old heads or this old school of thinking to start to start. And it's almost like as you're talking, I'm like, what are the words we need to use? Because the, 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 the no-nos are creator, creativity, flex space. Like yeah. we need to use words that they like, yep. <laughs> which, which uh, is like, how do we boost your NOI with ghost kitchens? Like things passive like income. that. That's the, that's the yeah, passive, in <laughs> passive income uh, and immediate. <laughs> But yeah, that, that, that you're, you're getting the crux of the work that we do. And the work that we do is completely inglorious. It's behind the scenes, it's tough, and it involves a lot of hard discussions and a lot of representing, basically going into things, representing this class of people who don't get a voice, don't get to see the table and saying, I'm here to speak for that. And here's what's gonna happen if you open up yourself to these opportunities. And here's all our data to show you what will happen. And right. we're giving you, we're inviting you on this journey to be a part of this. And if you wanna like actually learn what the future of commercial real estate is gonna look like, let us show you. 
like try it out. What do you have to lose? It's a vacant space. Right. You're making zero. We're, we're talking about furnishing your space and making it operable, cleaning it and handing it over to people who are great and vetted and doing awesome things. So like what's holding you back and the reason why we are kind of are able to acquire a lot of spaces and close these deals with these old heads, as you call them, is that we're not trying to get in the way of the long-term lease. We see right. ourselves as supremely fitting right in the middle to say, we're only here to service your building to get you from vacancy to long-term lease, however long that takes. Hire us to help you do that. And whenever it is, you call me and say, I finally got my five-year lease. So happy. And I just get to say to you, I'm so happy for you. We'll be out next Monday. Like that's, that is how it works. And when it's presented in that way, it's a no lose situation for the landlords. And so they have a hard time. They will try, trust me, to poke holes in this and be like, here's why I don't want to do this. Or here's why it doesn't make sense. Or here's why it's a threat to my system. It's a threat to no one's system except for being open to the future. And if you, you don't want to be open to the future and you want to just keep doing this and having your hands over your eyes and <laughs> praying for the best that your long-term tenant is just going to come around tomorrow, it's not, a, it's not a winning strategy. And so we've been fortunate enough to be able to tell this story at scale and to bring landlord partners along with us to help them do this. Because actually what's weird, Diego, is that they, most of them want to do this. They just don't yeah. know how. Right. They don't know. It's, it, it's hard work. They need a partner. They need you. They need someone that's going to teach them or, or kind of show them success. Yeah, it's not hands off. We're good at everything from technology, software development, infrastructure, operations, management, customer experience, financial payments, 